show you how to take a form, collect data, convert that data a little bit, and then um, show it in a report that can be embedded in a website or sent out as an interactive report uh, with searchable fields and sortable fields. So let's start. Um, the very first thing you need is a form. And um, this is my form. Um, most of them are pretty straightforward questions. Some things I've locked into specifics, although I've also added another. And then I've got grade levels. Um, I have a file upload. This is where my image is going to come from. And I've locked it into only image format. And these are the settings I've made for the so file size. Then I've also added links. I've used the validation here. Um, to require a URL and to give some feedback if someone put something other than a URL in it. Once your form is ready, um, when you click on the Responses tab, you can click here to see the responses in Sheets. So I've already populated mine um, with information, but what I need to do is the file that comes in um, from the upload has a, a link that's not viewable dynamically. So what I need to do is I need to convert this link here that has the word open. I need to change the op word open to thumbnail. So in order to do that, um, I've created an array formula. So array formula will populate down this column even when new form responses come in. So it's taking the column I, which is my picture column, and it's converting the word open to the word thumbnail. So that's all ready to go. Uh, there's one other step, which is you have to go into Drive and change the sharing on the folder that is made by the form uh, to store the photos um, and change that sharing to anyone can view with a link. So once you've done all that, you're ready to go and you need to go into Google Data Studio. From here, you click on a blank report and it comes up with the blank report on the left and your data um, and styling will be on the right, but for now we don't have a data source so it's just basically nothing. So we're going to click Create a New Data Source. And then that's going to bring up all the different options that there are for adding data. In our case, we're going to um, select Google Sheets as soon as it loads. And so here's Google Sheets. And we'll click Select. And then this brings up all of the files. So I'm going to grab that um, spreadsheet that I just made, conveniently because I just made it, it's going to be on the top of the list, and then click Connect. So our data is coming in, but it's coming in as is, and um, it isn't quite ready for showing inside a report. So in order for a picture to show, we need to make a new field and let it know that it's an image file. So I'm going to add a field and I need to type image and then the um, column name and then I also need to give this a name so I'm going to call it thumbnail and save and then this code viewer piece the formula where you put the formulas you have to close it I always forget and then things get weird um, and then the next I need to add a field to convert my URL so I'm just going to do one to show, and for that you do hyperlink, and then you put um, the column that you want, and then the words that'll show for the link. So I'm going to just put get it. And then this field I also need to name, so I'm just going to call it link. So now I need to save that. And then once it's done saving, I add the entire thing to the report. So now inside the report, um, it's put this um, chart here for me already, which is pretty handy. And um, here, if I need to change my data source, it's right there. But here I need to add my columns, which are called dimensions. So I'm going to add a dimension, and I want to add areas of learning. I want to add my picture column, which was called thumbnail and I want to add my link column, which is called link. And then I also want to add um, grade levels so that we have a searchable field and I'm going to get rid of timestamp. So 
Now when my report's starting to look pretty good, but we've got some problems. One of them is that here, see the column's not wide enough. I can just make the column wider, but actually what I want is I want this text to wrap. Um, also, I've got row numbers, which I don't want, and this record count, which it by default adds a metric. And in this case, I don't need a record count, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So now it's looking better already, but I want to style it. So um, I'm going to make my uh, odd rows a different color, and I'm going to make my header row a slightly darker gray. And um, I'm going to change my header font to something a little bit more friendly, although now it's completely unreadable. So we'll just change it to this just for fun. Um, so now I've got a header row, and I also want to get rid of those row numbers, which is here. I want to wrap my text, which is here. And then I also, for missing data right now, it's set to show null. Literally, it shows the word null, but I want it to show blank. So now there's no stuff that I don't want in there. Um, and then you can change alignment of columns and things like that in here. You can change the size of the font and the style of the font. Um, maybe I'll change that to that, and I'll change this to be a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm happy with what that looks like. So now I'm going to view it. So this is what it'll look like um, when people are looking at it which is pretty cool, and they can search it. So for example here, I can search it, change it to sort by this. So you can sort it, and I'm gonna change it to sort by that. Um, but I, what I want is for people to be able to search it. So I'm gonna go back and edit. And here, this little funnel, when you click on that, it gives you this nice filter control. And again, it's defaulting to my first column, and I don't want that. I want it to search by grade level. And here, I want it to search by grade level. I want the metric to be grade levels. So it's ready to go. So if we click on View, I now have a search box. And if it shows it all the different ones by default, and then if I put a 1 in, it narrows it down just to these ones, but you'll notice this didn't change at all. I've noticed it's a particular quirk. If you click on only, now it'll restrict it only to that one, and then you can check the other ones that it found in the search, and now it'll show only those things that you wanted. So that is how to add your data um, to a searchable form. So you can share this. Um, first, I'm going to um, uh, make this viewable and get a shareable link and then you can copy this link um, and that link will allow you to embed it into a website. You can also um, add some text and other graphics. So here I might add some text saying search here. And I'm going to change that checks text to this and make it bigger. Except I always forget you have to highlight the text. And I'll make it bigger. And then maybe I'll put a little arrow in. So I'm going to grab a curve connector and I'm going to connect it from here to here and um, that arrow I want at the line end to be a pointer. So now I've added some text um, and you can also add other charts here. So for example I could add a pie chart. I might want to make this a little bit smaller so that I've got room. And then for my pie chart, um, it's again by default doing timestamp, but I'm going to do area of learning. And so now it's breaking it out by the different areas of learning based on a record count. So you can do lots of things with this, and it creates a nice interactive report that you can um, share in a variety of ways. Enjoy.